Jananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vancha kaupata rupyascha kripa sindhu bhayevacha patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha namao vishnu padaya krishna prishtaya bhutale shrimati bhakti vedanta swaminiti namane namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadhi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <clears throat> so we're recounting the life of the great devotee Jadbarat. Previously, Lord Rishabdev had 100 sons, and the eldest, the greatest of his 100 sons, was a personality called Bharat, who became Bharat Maharaj and who ruled the world. So Bharat Maharaj, after ruling the world for some time, he renounced the world and had retired to the Himalayas alone. And he was living in the Himalayas beside the banks of a river, holy river Gand Ganduki, where the Shalagram Shilas are found. So it happened that he saved the life of a young deer and he became attached to the deer and because of his attachment to the deer, next life he took birth as a deer. But even though he was in the body of a deer, he was given remembrance of his previous life. So he very much regretted that he had been so inattentive and careless in his spiritual practice. So, he, after a short time in the deer body, and he, the, the deers, they don't live very long life, he gave up, they gave up that body. Next life he took birth in a Brahmana's family. So, 
下一世他投生在一位 Brahmana 的家庭。So he was very careful, because he could remember his previous births, he was very careful not to become entangled in material affairs. And he, he pretended to be he pretended to be a, a foolish person with no, no proper intelligence. There's no, there's no power, and I'm going through, you know, I, and I need to recharge my computer, but there's no power. What am I going to do? Anyway, I, I don't know, I'll use my phone probably, if the electricity doesn't come back in a minute, I'm going to be in difficulty. Okay, I understand. Okay, so, okay, so, so Jad Bharat, he managed to get away from the home because the family thought he's very stupid, they didn't care about him. So he went off to wander around. Jad Bharat Bharat but some, by the will of nature, by the will of destiny, it happened that he was recruited by one king who needed someone to help carry his palanquin. He was short of one palanquin carrier. And they saw Jad Bharat, who had a strong body, and they thought he would be good to carry the palanquin. <laughs> So, Jad Bharat was carrying the palanquin, but he was very careful not to step on any insects when he walked. And this created a lot of difficulty for the other people who were carrying the palanquin. And uh, the king who was being carried in the palanquin got very upset and he began to chastise Jad Bharat and threatened to beat him. So, it happened that uh, Jad Bharat then began to speak knowledge on the highest level of self-realization. And he pointed out so many errors in the king, faults in the king, in his words, in his behavior. Jad Bharat, then,开始在最高的自我觉悟的层面上，开始讲述知识，并且指出了国王的言语和行为的许多错误。Jad Bharat pointed out to the king that actually you're not really the king, that I'm not really your servant, that we're all souls living in these different bodies. 
Judd Barrett 就指出来，实际上你不是国王，我也不是仆人，我们都是居住在这个躯体当中的永恒的灵魂。So when the king heard these words from Judd Barrett, then he could understand Judd Barrett was not the person who he thought he was because. The king thought Jad Barat was just some sudra, some laborer, some working, ordinary, uh, low class, uneducated person. But after Jad Barat had spoken, then the king understood he was really a very enlightened person. Jad Barat 开口讲话之后，国王便意识到了，实际上他是一个已经开悟了的人了。And the king understood he had made a great offense against a great devotee. 国王也意识到自己对一个伟大的奉献者做了冒犯。So the king became very worried that oh, I, I've, I've made a great offense to a great devotee. It will be very bad for my spiritual life. 国王就感到惴惴不安，王忐忑不安。我对一个伟大奉献者做了暴冒犯，这对我的灵修非常的糟糕。So he fell at the feet of Jad Barat, and he begged forgiveness. He then bowed down at Jad Barat's feet, begging for forgiveness. And he also be began to question Jad Barat about some of the things which Jad Barat had said to him. After that, the king went to Jad Barat to ask him. 呃，扎巴拉的之前对他所说的那些话是什么含义 ？Jad Barat had spoken, he had spoken about things on a very high platform of self realize of spiritual realization, and it was very difficult for the king to understand. Jad Barat 是站在一个很高的，已经灵性觉悟了的层面讲话。Just like when, you know, when we're new devotees, when we first hear people speak from scriptures, we also find it very difficult to understand. 就像当我们是新奉献者的时候，当我们听到别人讲讲讲经典的时候，我们觉得很难懂。We're not born in the culture. So it's difficult for us to understand. Because we didn't grow up in this culture, so we felt it was difficult to understand. 